Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the off grid Project, and we are going to experiment today. I have some food from the grocery store. We have some chickpeas, some red kidney beans, some Central American red beans, some large lima beans, and some barley. And we are going to experiment with sprouting. So I'm going to take uh, about a dozen of each of these seeds and I'm going to put them on a tray with paper towel and spray them and keep them moist for the next couple days and see what happens. Now, I have read that some of these are irradiated, so that means treated with radiation so that they will not sprout. And if that is the case, then I will know not to buy uh, the ones that don't sprout anymore because I don't want radiation treated food. So it'll be a dual purpose experiment here, one to see if they've been radiation treated and if because radiation isn't good for you or your food I don't think and two to see if they'll sprout and if they sprout we can garden with it so it'll be a good source of uh, cheap gardening seeds. So let's go on over to the kitchen and try these out. So correction I am in the living room. Melanie has the kitchen so I'm in the living room. It's interesting what things happen when you get married and you give up half of your house willingly, happily. <laughs> Melanie's laughing in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm going to take about it. I want to take a good dozen of each. Uh, there's some chickpeas. I just want to see, actually I want to go and, act, and and make it a good even number. I want to take 20 of each. And see what percentage sprout. Just out of curiosity here. That way it will give us a, uh, an actual percentage of what sprouts and what doesn't on these um, different things because depending on how old they are that will also affect if they sprout or not how they've been stored and treated uh, will also affect everything so I want to take a sampling of each type of food here and see what goes on see what, we, what, can, what will sprout and what won't so I'm going to count the rest of these out I'm going to do 20 each and we'll be back in a little bit. So here's my tray for experimenting, all neatly laid out. Now I'm going to put two paper towels on top and moisten them and keep them damp for a few days and see what happens. Day three with the seeds here and I keep adding moisture to the towel each day. Um, the chickpeas, we got one that's starting to sprout. The um, which one of these? Uh, that's not kidney, that's red beans. Have all sprouted except for one that I, oh yeah that one's sprouting. All but one that was moldy and I threw away. So that's a uh, near 100% germination rate. The big lima beans are splitting in half and not doing much of anything else. So they might be irradiated. Actually that one's got black, black mold on it. I'm going to have to actually take them out and rinse them. That one's not good at all. So the lima beans are actually getting mold. I have to actually take these and rinse them all then off so they don't get all moldy. There is a moldy stench after just a few days, but it has been warm in the house, in the tiny house. The, um, what are these grains? Uh, barley didn't do anything. And they're molding profusely, so they're not good at all. And the kidney beans have all but one sprouted so that's a near 100 percent germination right so that's very good um oh oh what do we got here is that just a root from the other oh yeah no nope. these are not doing anything but i'll wash them and give them a second chance see what happens they might just need longer and the barley i think we'll have to do them in a in a seed sprouter because they just mold too easy so, that is a success so far. Looking good on the seeds. So, we'll plant these tomorrow. 
Well, here we are the next and final day uh, we're going to plant today. They don't smell good because there was some black mold formed on a couple of the seeds, the chickpea one molded, and some of the uh, barley got moldy. But the um, chickpeas are sprouting. Day four, or is this day five? I'm not sure. I'd have to check my, my video. Chickpeas are sprouting, and that's good. So most of them have sprouted or are sprouting. All of the red beans and kidney beans sprouted except for the two that I threw away. So that's a near 100% rate. So that's very good here. We'll be planting these today. And even the barley was, where was that? Some of the barley was starting to sprout. So I saw tiny little bits starting to sprout on some of these. But these would have to be done in a seed sprouting tray where you can rinse them regularly because they're getting moldy and that's not good. Now the beans did great. The chickpeas are not so good without having a clean uh, environment to rinse them. So I would change that for next time. It looks like the weirdest thing. Is there an insect on that? Is that a form of mold? Or is that... Can you focus on there? I can't focus. Yeah, look at that. That is a weird looking thing. Form of fungus? So anyway, some weird stuff happens. The uh, the lima beans weren't very happy, but um, a very few did sprout. So I think they also would need a cleaner environment. But the uh, the germination rate for the lima beans is very, very low, so that's not a good success. They'd be better off being eating this food. Here's another, that weird yellow fungus. But, yeah, the red beans, we're going to sprout some more and we'll plant them. These are going out in the garden today. So, good success. And even the chickpeas will sprout. And, uh, actually, even the barley is going to sprout. So, I might just sow some of the seeds right in the dirt. But, there we have it. Planting from Goya Grocery Store. Uh, beans and barley. Hey everybody. Well, the seed sprouting was a success. There you can see the pretty little plants growing. All my little plants, my little bean plants are growing happily. And uh, sadly though, some got hurt by um, uh, some kind of worm type thing that ate off the tops. So that was not a failure of the experiment, but rather of nature. So these guys here got killed, and there was one here somewhere, and one is still coming through, but for the most part, every seed we planted grew. Now there's a couple others got ate off. Something ate the uh, young leaves that came out. So when I do this again, I will do it in starter trays and transplant them, when they're strong enough to handle nature on their own. So there's the um, red beans. And, and something I've never seen in my life. The chickpeas are growing. I've never seen a chickpea before, but there's a chickpea. And there's a chickpea. Now the germination rate for the chickpeas was a lot different. And a lot less. But, well then again, they're still coming up. Some of the chickpeas are still breaking through. But, uh... I'd say a good 50% germination rate for chickpeas, something I've never seen before. And the kidney beans had a near 100% germination rate, but a good 70-80% um, uh, what do you, predator rate. So only a few made it to uh, to life. These are a couple weeks old now. Uh, it's been I think two weeks since we sprouted and there's uh, sadly something ate the starter leaf the first leaf out of almost every one down the row we've only got two three good plants one has been harmed we've got two healthy plants and that is not a failure of the experiment it's because of something that ate the new leaves off as soon as they opened up so um, I will be starting them in a container, but I will be starting some more. So 
we have success. 100, nearly 100% germination rate on the beans and about 50% on the uh, chickpeas. So, sprouting seeds from the grocery store. These are soup beans. Goya soup beans from the grocery store is a success. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project, out.